Hello, I just wanted to put out a message. Uh, the Holy Spirit and I are calling this Just One Soul, message 609. Well, today I got the news that the tumor, tumor uh, or the cancer, it is cancerous and it is incurable, but they do believe that they got 90% of uh, the tumor and there's very swell, little swelling right now and I am able to use my left side and to dress myself again. I am thinking better and I can walk better than I did before and I can still talk as you can see. I do get tired but easy but I have been shown that I still have things to share until we go my but my job is pretty much d done I am to share what he has shown me when I get it I wanted to let you know I am not afraid at all and I know he has me well in hand it wasn't until Monday night as I was sitting in the parking lot at the motel talking that with the Lord that I was and I was thinking about the fact that they are going to cut into my head and I had not thought of that until then and I realized that hey this really is a big deal I have had many surgeries in my life and have been in many situations before that I did not see until after that I could have really been hurt and then not see how strong the hand of God was on me until later because I came through fine I was then reminded of the feeling of God's love that I have felt in two dreams and felt every prayer that has been going out for me. I knew I was not alone and there really were many that cared for me and had the love of God in them spreading, spreading out to me. Because my husband was not feeling well, I had him stay at the motel after I was put in my room. He had the phone and I knew all would be fine and I have realized that I have never been afraid in my entire life until that brief moment when I let the reality of the world come in. I have always lived in complete faith and trust of God to take care of no matter what comes my way. I know he will never give me anything that I cannot handle and he's like that for all of us. I have come to see the love of God is not an emotion it is a real living thing and it can be felt through every one of us even miles away I remembered while we were driving home today that in about 1982 or 83 I had asked God why I was here on earth and he told me he sent me for others at that time I thought it was for my immediate family but I see now that was not the case I heard him ask me today if it mattered who it was or if it were just for one soul that I had lived and my answer was a fast no it does not matter he showed me that every day of my life he was a part of it even when I did not make the perfect choice but everything was part of his plan to bring me to where I am right now and I saw that all that I lived through I had been just fine and he asked if I would if if I had to do it all again for just one soul would I and I said yes I would and it did not matter who it was if my life was to bring in just one soul home for him if my life helped just one it was all worth it every moment I have spent every sorrow every pain every joy every day of my life would be worth it for his glory it is as it is not about me it is all about him then I thought of what he went through uh, for each one of us and realized he went through so much more than I have and he and I know he would do it all over again for each and every one of us if he had to our God loves us very much every each and every one of us and he is the I am that I am I have always been shown there is a Trinity and they love us so very much and together they are God and we really are never alone not even for one second as he is in us so is the Holy Spirit as Jesus cannot live in us without the Holy Spirit so there is not one saved person that does not have the Holy Spirit in them there are many that have 
a hard time walking in the spirit because the spirit is not something that you can touch with your hands or always see with your eyes it is obtained through trust as it is through trust we believe and with your uh, that we believe and when you live in a world that cannot be trusted like we do it is hard to separate and see that the spiritual relationship with the Lord is our true reality and not the world around us and we can uh, uh, when we walk in faith like that a lot of people that cannot understand it think that we are false because they have to have a more f of a physical relationship and ha believe that it's things that they do how many times they read the Bible how many times they talk about them how many times they do this or how many times they do that it's not by our works it's by his grace and his love in us when we have the love and grace of God in us it comes through us and everyone can see it and feel it that is what our walk is to be is to be in trust and faith in him many of us have been called to share what he has share, uh, shared with us we do the best we can I share what he shows me the way he shows me I am human and I also when he gives me words I do my best to repeat them the exact way I heard them I am no I know I am doing that right but as we have seen it is a big puzzle and not written down step by step I think he has done this so we can connect and help us get through the path he has put us on I know for sure if it were not for the family I now have in Christ I would not be here right now where he wants uh, uh, me and us to be the Bible does not spell it out step by step uh, you know just boom 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 and I wish it would the churches are not complete enough to spell it out step by step either this is why we need to lean learn to uh, to completely trust him to guide us we are not detached from him uh, he is with us every second and yes I do believe he would take the time to script a radio playlist just for me I believe he does that he would do that for all of us no I do not think every song I hear is part of it but when the song he wants me to hear comes on I will feel the Holy Spirit and know it is him speaking to my soul we will get through this fine if we lean on him and know no matter what trial we go through we will be fine we are to just we are just where he wants us to be we truly are saved by his grace and not by our works God in us will work through us if we let him and trust him truly accept his love and trust and lead is how we are to get through as we will get through the way he wants us to if we let him it can be done if you let him take over it's not us it's him God bless us all he loves you and so do I Terry and the Holy Spirit